The first, we have Bonnie Simi, head of, head of Air Operations and People from Job Aviation. Welcome, Bonnie. Thank you. So, Bonnie, um, I would like to ask you about how the Joby Aviation is like. Sure. So, I, I'm, you know, I can tell you about Joby, but I thought it would be better to show you. So, I brought a short video that can describe how we are designing, manufacturing, and operating our, ve our vehicles. So, we're uh, vertically integrated. You can cue up the video. Okay. Let's take a look at it. Oh, there it is. It continues. One little... This is really cool. I want to be a first passenger. <laughs> Good. So now you can see it's real. Yeah, it's real. So I'd like to ask a bit of questions, firstly, about technologies. Sure. Um, what are the most exciting technology advancements happening in your EV door design? Sure. So probably the very first, particularly considering the audience, as we think, is, is the batteries. So it is completely uh, electric, vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, so fully zero emission. And we spend a lot of time in designing our batteries. We do build all of our batteries. We do source our batteries, our battery cells, from the automotive supply chain. And we spend six years going through different types of cells and assessing what works best. We've identified what will be in our production aircraft. And it's uh, 288 uh, watt hours per kilogram. So that gives a nice pack. And then we'll put them together into the battery pack. So at the pack level, we're talking 235 of watt hours per kilogram. So that basically that powers combined with our motors, all electric motors, more power than 2x a Model S Plaid um, Tesla. So that gives, gives you a sense. So that's number one is the, the batteries. Number two is the sound profile, the noise. When, when you saw there in the New York uh, profile, we're going to be flying in urban environments. And if you think of helicopters, the very first thing people think about in helicopters is the noise. So when you think of the decibels, to set that in context, about 90 decibels, uh, we did a partnership with NASA to assess the noise profile, which we've worked over a decade on. Uh, and at, at liftoff, about 65 decibels, so it's a logarithmic scale, 65, which is the sound of the ambient noise of a city. And at altitude, flying overhead at about 1,500 feet, it's 45 decibels, which is lower, far lower than my voice right now. So you would be able to, you just can't hear it. It sounds like leaves in the wind. The last piece is that we're excited about is we're very far along in our uh, certification efforts with the FAA. You'd mentioned the FAA. We are one of those, I think you said 34 companies <laughs> engaging with the FAA. We're very far along. There's five stages. We're leaning into stage four right now. Uh, and we are flying inhabited. So that's kind of the exciting part about uh, where we are now. Mm -hmm. That's very exciting. So. Now the question is about the market. So yes. typically, um, many EV door manufacturers are looking at um, the freight models, such as oh. airport to airport mm -hmm. freights. Um, do you see your EV door catering to any specific market or any each use cases? Well, what's exciting is it's very versatile, right? So our aircraft can can operate as a as a like a helicopter wheel, take off vertically, can land conventionally. Uh, when we think about airport to airport, yes, that's possible. Or maybe thinking airport to vertiport. Uh, so people going in between airports or going in uh, between heliports. We've actually partnered with Delta, and we're sort of branding this home to seat. So think about you're at home. Uh, think of this as a multimodal journey. 
You can pull up in the Joby app. You can pull up in an Uber app, one of our partners. You can book on Delta. A, a car will come pick you up, bring you right to the Vertiport. We can fly you out to JFK, and on you are go on your Delta flight. That is that home to see. So that is one use case. But when we think about you know, large metropolitan areas, you think of like New York and LA, 99% of the, of the uh, ground transportation is less than 50 miles. So there's an e enormous market just going from one end of the town to another. Imagine going you know, from South Bay up here to San Francisco, or across the bay, or out into East Bay just like that, six minutes. If I were to go from, you know, from you know, San Francisco to Oakland, it takes me an hour. So giving that as, as an example. And then, but actually, you know, with COVID, more and more people moved out uh, away from the urban environments. Mm -hmm. And you know they have to come into town you know, one day a week, two days a week. This is kind of an interesting opportunity. So there's a lot of population now in the suburban areas that need to come in occasionally, and this is another great use case. There will be many, many, many more, but I'm just giving you some examples. So it could be much easier to come over from yes, um, yes. urban areas, mm -hmm. the urban centers. Now, you mentioned about the Delta Airlines, right? Um, I also want to ask about the partnerships. Um, Joby Aviation also has a partnership mm -hmm. with Toyota Motors. Yes. I'm just curious that, um, what do those partners mean to your business? How, what, is the, what kind of synergies do you see? Yeah, so we have quite a few partners. And every one of our partners that we work with, uh, you know, in the, in, the, in the manufacturing, it's not just an investment. It is very much leaning into it. So Toyota has dozens of engineers in our factory right now, the, what you saw in the video, helping us design those fixtures, helping us design the flow, the Kanban charts, you name it, right? Uh, so it's very much instilling that Toyota manufacturing concept and philosophy right into the very beginning. Because right now we're, we're still prototyping. We have our, our pilot production line in Marina. Uh, but as we grow and we're going to build hundreds and hundreds of these aircraft, you need to have those efficiencies. Mm -hmm. So that's how we lean in with Toyota. Uh, and uh, then with Delta, it's not just that eventually you'll be, you'll be able to connect on a Delta flight through, our, through a, a booking engine. They're working with us right now as we think about building out infrastructure within airports, helping us think. I mean, it's, it, we've announced that we're working with them and with a focus on New York and L.A. Those are big markets, and, and so they're helping us work with the various uh, airport authorities uh, and help, help us think through the customer experience. Mm -hmm. So those, Uber's another one of our, our key partners. Uh, but even, even say, a, a manufacturing partner like Torre that does our, our composites. And over and over and over again, we think about our partners, uh, not just of, any, of money, but really how do, they, how do they work side by side with us. Mm -hmm. I think the, uh, the, my last question is how you want to scale, how, what's the strategy to scale? Yes. I think also this is related to um, how do you want to scale the infrastructure, the yes. infrastructure side? Yeah, so uh, just very quickly on the, on the manufacturing, we've got our pilot production, uh, and then we've just got a, a $10 million grant to expand that here in California to get further at scale so our engineers can stay next to our manufacturers. Once we've perfected, we then uh, are building out a, a larger factory in Ohio, so that's where we'll come at scale there. We're also building out infrastructure, taking existing airports, existing heliports, and working with the cities. Uh, and municipal and the owners of those to electrify those. That's the easiest. In fact, we fit right into the current infrastructure, as well as some greenfield. And I guess the last piece that is, is incredibly important is the charging infrastructure mm -hmm. uh, and what is the standard. So we've developed a global aviation charging standard uh, that is not just charging, because in the end, you have to condition the batteries. And in cars, the conditioning is usually on the car. Uh, that you can't do that on the aircraft. It just takes too much weight to go in the air. So the charging, it has to be charging and conditioning. And also uh, pulling data off the aircraft. So we've built a, a uniform charge, charging system that could be used with other eVTOL uh, manufacturers, and we've just released that. So that's how we've been thinking of this end to end. Okay, thank you very much for the great story. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Actually, so Bonnie mentioned about the noise. So on YouTube, actually, you can find the Joby Aviation's demonstration flights videos in New York. And you can actually see the big difference of noise between the Joby Aviation's eVTOL and conventional aircraft.